Hello everybody, welcome to episode three of Grackle Tries. Today we are here with the wonderful Harriet. Yeah. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself in a sentence? Hello, uh, my name's Harriet and I run a cake decorating business from home. And what's it called? Clough Cakes. And what oh, is the dog going to be? So, what are we going to be making today? Uh, today we're going to be making a semi-naked miniature wedding cake um, with some lovely funky flowers and macarons on it as per requested yes <laughs> see i if you've watched any of my videos before you know i'm the worst decorator i did do bakery school but we didn't really do decorating and harriet here has ventured out and she's gotten some great practice where have you been to get some training um, so I haven't really done any like decorating courses as such. Um, I've picked up a lot from my work uh, as a pastry chef um, in a hotel, uh, currently working in a cafe as well. It's, most of it is just trial and error, lots of practice and uh, yeah. So I'm going to learn the ropes today, so let's get started! So this is where the magic happens, but we're not going to be filming in here today because obviously there's not much space for us to both be in in the action and cakes take a lot of space up. This is where Harriet does all of her baking and how does it feel to be baking at home? Um, it feels good, like it's my own safe space, comfy space. It's convenient, my bedroom's just up there, so yeah. <laughs> roll out of bed and get on with it really. You can do it in your trackies. I can, yeah, trackies in my slippers. As I'm Have a plan to the slippers, look at those yeah, beauties. Fluffy slippers. Right, <laughs> let's get baking. Yep. So take us through what we're we making today. Right, so basically uh, we're making sort of a wedding style uh, buttercream cake. Um, we're going to be decorating it with flowers, macarons, I've got some strawberries and blueberries. I'm gonna go crazy with uh, as much as you want to put on it really. Nice and smooth. So, have you get in there Sam? <laughs> have a get look in there. That. Look how smooth That's how that we want it. That's so nice. So I always put a little bit on the board first mm -hmm. just to stick the cake down I will make it all like the day before I decorate it yeah which I prefer and um, it gives them just a little overnight to kind of rest mm. um, and then they're just usually better the next day especially if you're if I'm doing a shaped one the last thing you want is um, really fresh cake because it's just going to crumble. It's really hypnotic watching you do it. I feel like yeah. I'm in a trance watching That's you what my mum says. She's like, I like watching you. Yeah, so this will be the crumb coat. Um, I usually put on more than I need because um, mm -hmm. I like to try and keep as much of the cake crumb out of it as possible. Um, this is the bit that I always struggle with the most, the, the crumb, crumb coat. coat. You don't need to worry too much about it because it doesn't need to be like, I would say it doesn't need to be that smooth smooth because yeah. you're you're gonna go back over anyway but I always start from the top mm. and I push it out over the edge because you don't want to catch the edges when you go around bring it together just take your time with it really normally I see people with like that big scrapey thing and they yeah, just yeah I've tried it and I'd, I've got them because that's what I use later on to smooth it out a bit more mm. but I don't know I just I always start with the little one because I think at one point that was the only only one I had mm. so I just got used to using that a tiny little blob at the bottom. Is that blob yeah, enough? Yeah, that's fine. Just give it a little smush. Yeah. That's smushy enough? Yeah, that's fine. Is it? You look yeah. like you no, are... it's fine. Okay. It's just, all it is is sticking it down slightly. I noticed that you do a round bit in the middle and then you smooth it out. Yeah. I don't, you don't want to put too much in the middle, especially with a buttercream cake. Obviously you're covering the entire thing in buttercream. Yeah. So you don't need like tons of it in the middle. Oh, she's smooth, she's moving. And now we go swish, swish, swish around yeah. and stripes. Yeah. Oh, have I gone over that? I've no, been over no, Cause you can, you can scrape it off. Remember this move. Like this. So move it to your advantage. We're going up to the speed in the sky. Oh, so much better being gentle. Yeah. It's not every day quick. <laughs> this is so much better if you do it s s baby. <laughs> I feel like you've just saved my bacon. This is why I'm bad yeah. at decorating. Because I'm a woo! <laughs> one kind of sweet round. Yeah. yeah, no. I, I'm just going to leave it now. Yeah. Let's, let's leave that one. He's done. He's happy. And we'll put him in the fridge. 
So, we've just had a tutorial from the wonderful Harriet, and now we're going to give it a go for ourselves. But like, this is, could be where it all goes wrong. You want to smooth the whole thing out first, and then I use that one. That's good. Ah! Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh no! I scraped cake! It's alright. Okay. Remember, it's semi naked. So. Yeah, we're doing a semi naked sponge, which means it's a bit of it's a bit of sponge on display, exposed yeah. sponge. Oh no! <laughs> it's okay. Should I re? No, no, it's Hi. all right. So if you do have little, we'll just bits, have semi naked on the bottom and naked on the top. You can kind of just go back in with this and just smooth it slightly, but so my cake. <laughs> now we put it in the fridge. Okay, so we're gonna make little bride and groom banksies now, aren't we? Yes, yeah, so okay. we are. So this is sugar paste, and this is gonna set up a lot harder than fondant does, um, which we'll use it for little models. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is, because we won't be able to finish it today, because it needs to dry out. So I will paint it for you, and then I'll send you a little, little, little video. So we're just gonna basically just make the model, and then I'll finish it off. So we attempted to make a Banksy. Uh, unfortunately, it is. You can see from the sun, it is very hot here today uh, and sugar paste was getting a little bit on the sticky side and a little bit too soft, um, which was making it lose its shape. So what I'm going to do is once it's cooled down in the evening, I will sit down and have a go again remaking it and I'll make a little Banksy for Grace. <laughs> Got it? That's good. I'm going to come over here. Wait, you want to try and get it central, so that's your front, so you want that about here, the front is there. Oh There we no. go, it's alright! <laughs> it came out slightly, but it's fine. Not slightly, a whole flapping, 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 <laughs> whole flipping chunk of cake, that's flopping and chunk. You are so... <laughs> I've put my hand in it. <laughs> I'm going to cover it in flowers. I was I'm so sorry, I was getting too cocky. But we can just fix it because we've got the palette knife. So on. I'm the cake knife over for me. <laughs> so after some operations from <laughs> operations, her... technical difficulty. <laughs> technical difficulty. Harry has saved right. the day and saved my blunder. Yeah, so I normally start with the big elements and then I'll sort of go down to the smaller. So obviously we've got like strawberries, meringues, macarons, blueberries, mm -hmm. all sorts. So I've got my eye on this big the big boy. Big pink flower, and I think he needs to go like on the top. I don't know about you. Yeah. I think I tend to just cut them off at the stem. Then my mum gets whatever's left over as a sort oh, of. Oh, as a little. Yeah. Homage to the mother. And then it's really important that you wrap them with florist tape because the last thing you want is the sap going into the cake. And there are some flowers that you can't use on cakes. With this one, I think you almost want to go like you need something there and something there. Mm -hmm. Like I'm thinking. Go for a rose. Yeah. Wow, just like that. Okay, right, right. and then I think yellow. I think slow and steady really truly wins the race. It here. does, it really does. It's not fast, I think that's my problem, I rushed everything. I actually think I want to use those orange slices. She just so makes everything look so professional, doesn't she? <laughs> the way you like even slice the orange, I was like, oh yeah, slice that, slice that some it's, more. It's all come honestly from the kitchen, just working in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so like, if this was someone's wedding cake, you would literally be going to the venue and you'd be assembling it like there. Mm. So obviously fresh orange, it's going to dry out. So you'd be literally putting it together right before it goes out. There's just something she made earlier, a little macaron little macarons, yeah. Macarons, sorry, I always get it wrong. Is it, which one's which? Because is it I macaron think you're right, is macaron. the colourful one and macaroon yeah. is the one with the almond, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <Why not? laughs> no, you just give me the giggles. <laughs> now what are you thinking? <laughs> Take me through your what are you thinking? Process. What are we thinking here? Where are we gonna go? So I'm just gonna squish this in here. <gasps> squish. I think that's looking nice. Yeah. It's coming along, yeah? You liking it? Yeah. So when we were assembling the cake, I obviously was watching Harriet mainly. I feel like there's a lot of pressure because once you put it on, you could ruin the icing and you could ruin the way it all goes. You can literally make it topple and then you have to start completely from scratch. And I'm a very clumsy person very accident prone and I was even very messy like when I picked up the first flower there was icing all over my hands so I feel like you have to be very careful and that's why you have to be slow with it because otherwise it could all go you are completely in control of the cake but you're in control in a good way like you're the one that can make it turn out fantastic I 
I think she was a little bit nervous to do it because, um, I mean, for me, it's quite a slow process anyway because I take my time with it. I sort of place things on, see if I like the look. Um, and I think it's quite difficult when you're with someone who's done it a lot, so like me, and then you're worrying what I'm, like, she'd be worrying what I was thinking about where she wanted to place it. But it's all trial and error. Like, I sort of will place things on, see how I think it looks. And once you start adding to it, you can move bits around. It's not a problem, so... I think we're done. Yeah. Beauty bomb, should we turn it around? Oh! <laughs> you don't even need sound effects. Look at that! Very summery. I love it. It's so fruity and summery. And also, cake. yeah, a little baby wedding cake. Thanks so much for teaching me. It's all right. I feel like we, it's, it's so pretty. I feel like it just needs to be displayed. <laughs> and she's teaching me the ways. How do you get a perfect Insta? I just take loads and then I sort of filter through them and check. I just try and make sure I get lots of different angles as well. Very much like my selfies. <laughs> I just yeah. take loads and yeah, loads. Yeah, like a selfie. You just take a few until you get one that you like. Well, that was a beautiful end of the day. Thank you so much to Harriet for welcome. teaching me your ways. I'm never going to forget the crumb coat magic that you have taught me. I'm glad I taught you something. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and thank you for watching Grackle Tries. This is the last episode in the series and we'll be coming back soon for some more fun. Bye! Bye. <laughs>